Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades posted on Wednesday, November 30th. This trade was shared by Yasin, uh, who's trading the S&P 500 futures. As you see, the macro 30 minute chart shows that there was a breakout, and you can see that better in the five minute macro chart. And this is downtrend clearly, and with the uh, a structural chart of one minute the channel is more clear and with the trading charts which is a tick chart you can see the area of entry here and stop loss and exit so you enter here and exit with profit with proper stop loss and target uh, based on exit strategy number one so thank you Yasin for sharing your trades with us the next trade was shared by AP who's trading Nasdaq CFD you see his 30 minute chart uh, macro is in downtrend. You can see that also in five minute a structural chart and is waiting for the pullback to be completed. The price broke here, retested the resistance, dynamic and static, and is going down. So he's shorting several positions and trading all of this and reached all the targets. So thank you AP for sharing your trades with us. Next trade was shared by Johnny from New York, who's trading S&P 500 futures. And as you see, the macro chart is in uptrend here. You see also that in a structural chart of 300 seconds, which is uptrend, and the trading chart of 180 seconds. They are all in uptrend, so we have a very low risk area. He entered here after completion of pullback here with proper stop loss. The the stop is already trailed to maintain the profit and has a target here set and we see how the price act either get out with profit using trailing a stop or this adjusted target here and either way it's good and okay now we got out of this runner with good 57 ticks of profits. So thank you very much, Johnny, for sharing your path trade with us. The next trade was shared by Castro, our global instructor trading NASDAQ futures here. Here we see a sideways channel is forming consolidation on the one minute trading charts. There was a breakout at this level and after completion of pullback here and retesting the support area, so he waited for the price to move up and had a price with the target and a stop here set and set the target in the middle of channel and we see it just reached the target. So thank you Castro for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were shared by Jan, our global instructor trading macro Nasdaq futures. As you see his macro chart is showing downtrend choppy his uh, structural chart is also showing downtrend after a deep pullback and now the price is completing the pullback and is accelerating and gaining momentum so he's taking short positions repeatedly uh, on this channel of the trading chart which is 10 seconds and um, after every pullback he re-enters and let the atm and himself adjust the positions and manage the positions that are open and you see it here at accelerated speed so the result of these 11 trades were 100 percent win so the profit factor cannot be calculated as shown here as 99 uh, and the average win was 7.42 dollar for each trade so thank you Jan, for sharing your trades with us uh, so these are some of my trades at the beginning of new york market session there was several uh, economic release as you see here at the beginning up to 10 o'clock the volatility was high due this uh, news release and so I stopped trading and I started after 10 to 10 30 and I stopped it before the Fed uh, speaker so these are the trades after uh, this economic news release some long positions some short position again long positions and all of these trades with the path system uh, copied on multiple uh, fund account and uh, the result was profit factor of 6.91 with 76% win rate and average win to loss ratio of 2.1 uh, 
and the largest win was $115 and largest loss was $22 and the maximum drawdown was $181. Thank you for your attention and hope these path trades are useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.